Hey, how's it going guys? JC here. Welcome to another episode of Bronze Diamond. Today we're going to be playing Teemo and this one is voted in by a landslide. There were so many votes compared to every other episode, so that's amazing that you guys like showed a lot of support for this champion. Anyways, I had a game before this one because actually a bunch of games where I had to dodge because Teemo was banned like twice. And then uh, one of them, I just played Cassiopeia. I thought if I dodge again, I'll have to wait half an hour. So played Cassiopeia and that was the result on the screen. Anyways, we're just going to um, not try to shove yet. Just like last hit, I guess. So yeah, I was hoping to go top because I'll have a field day against Cho'Gath. But unfortunately, we're mid. And I think Ari just outranges Teemo. So it's going to be really annoying. But at least we could like return poke. And we have resolve secondary, so we're not going to take much damage from her. Just dodge her Qs, give her a little poke, back away. And every time we poke her, we're going to take a lot of minion damage, so you have to be careful of that. That's why I noticed like low elo uh, range champions, they like to poke and then they don't consider minion damage. You need to back away instantly after one poke. Okay, that's insane, that's some really good poke there. That already used one of her potions, and we're still full health. Okay, so let's see. 2 minute 40. This is where Master E can gank. Nice, we have some really insane poke right there. She's half. Unfortunately, I'm not running Ignite, but it's okay. I think TP is the way to go anyway. It's good practice. Ignite's really cheesy, like you'll flash Ignite her. What? Okay, we got a flash, nice. So now we have flash advantage. I can also just pop a potion here. Just avoid her Qs. She's just spamming Qs like crazy. Wow. If I get one auto on her, I think I get flash on her. Like, if I get one free auto, that is. Otherwise, we just, like, farm up, really. She's spamming so many abilities, and it's not actually pushing into me. That's the amazing part. Is we're managing the wave pretty well. We also have TP. She has TP as well. Okay. Alright, I guess we'll just farm up and wait for her to come back. Just wait for item power spikes and all of that good stuff. In terms of shroom placements, I'm gonna have to figure this out like on the fly. I'm not sure where to put it in mid lane. I know where to put it in top lane though. Just because I faced a lot of Teemo in top. But in terms of mid lane, it's kind of confusing. Okay, guess we go back to farm mode until she walks up again. We wanna stay away from that backline minion though. Just because that's where she'll throw her Q at most likely. I have to also have to be careful because this is where Master E can gank. They normally like to gank from this side, from like the, the skinnier wall. That's what I like to call it. I would have such an easy time against a melee champion though, have to say. It just feels bad that I'm um, facing a range champion. Oh, there's her charm so we can walk up a little. Make sure we back away from that true damage, the second half. Always dodge that. Might need to pop another potion. Yeah, there we go. Pop another potion here. Have to be careful. If we get charmed, we could get all in. I don't think Nocturne's gank is going to work. Okay, but yeah, make sure we hide behind minions and not get charmed. Just have to be careful because Teemo is a feeder champion as well. And if you're not careful enough, then you'll feed really hard. So it's one of those champions. Oh, I can start placing shrooms now. Oh, outrange that Q. I predicted it, so I used my Q to CS there. I'm still full mana. Okay, where should I put shrooms? Let me think. We'll definitely be around here. Wow, he's diving hard. That's a dead Yi, for sure. And Ari's missing. But yeah, never use your shrooms on the CS wave, because it's just a waste. Oh, damage right there. We'll drop another shroom. Uh, let's see, over here. I'd say this is a pretty decent spot. Just start having our shroom collection running. But yeah, mid lane's kind of boring. Top lane has more action, you know? More poke, more action, more everything. But yeah, if Ari, I feel like Ari at level 6, if she gets any help and she ults onto me and just like point blank ease me, I'm pretty much dead. That's what I know for sure. Oh, okay. If Lee lands a Q, then I'm gonna go in. 
He needs to like ward hop him now in the queue. Ah, okay. That was a good try. Oh, okay, that works. But yeah, mid lane is very boring. It's just a shove and roam fest. That's all it is to it. And yeah, always have shrimps behind you. That's a very good thing to do, is to have shrimps behind you. So that way, when you run backwards, if they chase you, you have a bunch of shrimps to run to. What the hell is tanking minions? I have to go back anyway. So apparently, it's a very good idea to go for Nashes first. And we'll also get a refillable here. Very nice. So from what I heard, after asking the challenger Teemo one trick, you want to get Nashes, Leandries, and Void stuff. Those three items you must get. You can get defensive boots along the way. And other than that, oh my god, he just taxed me so hard. Other than that, you can buy whatever you like. Okay, we'll just drop shrooms here. These are the most obnoxious places. Is There's nothing they could do about it. They can't drag minions to it. It's really hard. Now, other than that, we feel pretty safe because we're surrounded. Okay, very nice. Drop one on their escape path as well. So yeah, this whole place is shroomed up now. Really good. Oh, oh my god. The trade going in. Oh, taking a bit of minion damage here. Okay, I might have to just clear it out a little bit. Okay, yeah, she's dead. <laughs> we just set that up perfectly. But yeah, I threw my shroom at the back line and just baited her in. Because I knew that I had two potions running. If she did anything to me, there was no way of her killing me. I already poked her down. I softened it up already. If she stayed and fought, then that shroom uh, that I threw to the back line is going to explode onto her anyway. That's for where Master Yi is. Nice. There we go. Non-feeding Teemo. Okay, we can teleport back. So it's fine. We're not going to miss much. We'll keep up the pressure as soon as well. So yeah, teleport on this shroom, and let's pick up this little pink ward over here. That's like disabling our shrooms. Okay, very nice. We're winning pretty hard now. Okay, let's start shrooming up again, because these are like really good spots to shroom that I realize right now. Like just on the sides here. Any other potential cutoffs? Always shroom behind you. Like, that's the best spots to shroom. Ari's going up top, I think. Yeah, Ari's doing her own thing up there. We'll just get tower. Unless Yi goes. Okay, Yi's down there. We'll just keep pushing. It might be tempting to shroom this wave, but just don't. It's a waste. We can use it for more map pressure later. Like, put one here as well. Yeah, those two are really good because people will either walk to tower or towards your lane, so they will only trigger one of them. You want to plan with that in mind, I reckon. Also get a free mid tower, so that's first blood tower. Nice and easy. Oh wow, they got in Ocean Drake? Okay, so we have this whole mid lane watered up pretty hard. Alright, let's start putting things inside his jungle camp. Like, while we still have a chance. Let's put one here. Yeah, he's going to hate this one. For sure. Alright, let's go back now. We can get our Sork Shoes. Apparently, Leandri is super core cool just because your Shrooms will now do insane damage once you get Leandri's. Since it's already, it already has a built-in slow, so you don't need Rylize. Just keep pushing out. Um, Ari's there. Oh yeah, th that's where the shroom's kicking in. There we go. So she doesn't walk, want to walk into lane. If she does, then she's going to get hit by these shrooms as well. So we'll just replace those. Drop another one here. Yeah, I have quite decent vision. Might as well put one here. Master, you want to come through here. So that's one for him. It's a little, little present for him. And if he runs at me with ult, then I might be in trouble because Ari can ult as well. So I'll just hang back a little bit because we spotted him without shroom. Oh, we spotted Yi without shroom, that is. Okay, Lee's coming in. I think we can 2v2. 
Oh wow, she landed that charm. I was like orb walking a lot. I didn't think she'll land it. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I'll take it. Nice. That's a good kick. I didn't expect him to pull off the lead mechanics, you know, in bronze or silver. I think we're getting to silver elo right now. But yeah, you guys will know because I'll have the OP.GG up at the very start of every video. So those of you who ask like, what's your current rank, please put it at the start of the video. I actually do. If you look at the first 30 seconds of the video, it should be there. Okay, this is another free tower. Very nice. Let's put one there. Okay, Yi's over there doing his thing. I think we can start roaming to bot lane. And start shrooming up that place as well. Because we have three shrooms ready. And we never use mana. Like, to be very honest. Okay, that's fine. I'm just here to place shrooms down. So let's see. This is a good spot to place another one. And over here as well. Nice. Oh yeah, our shrooms are longer range as we rank it up. That's pretty awesome. Put one over there. Damn, there... There's a lot of action over there. Might be inclined to come help. Okay, we did some serious damage to him. He's definitely diveable. Okay, yeah, we'll just keep working towards getting this tower. Because this is the last outer tower we need to get. Oh my god, our ult range is so long now. It's insane. Okay, there we go. Three shrooms. And we don't really need mana for anything, so... Oh my god, there's a big wave at mid. Damn, I'm so greedy. I'm gonna go for it. That's a nice juicy wave there. I must take it. I think they have this. I'll get assist anyway because I have shrooms up there. The area just keeps going up there. Oh my. I should have put shrooms near the towers. Oh, they're gonna run into that one. Ah, oh, you're trolling me. Nice. We got him. Oh damn, I got Nom. That Rakan locked me in place with Charm. After that, they just changed their CC with like Charm and Rupture from Choga. Okay, next item I want to work towards is Void Staff. I think that's going to be really nice. And by the way, with these shrooms, you're going to be top of the damage most of the time. Like 90% of the time, you're going to be top damage against everyone on both teams. We're going to go back to mid and take the farm in mid and after that we'll rotate back to top and try to get that tower again. So that's the plan. Kog'Maw is side laning. I'll definitely want to replace the shrooms in mid, that's for sure. Because everyone stepped on it already. Hmm. Get some more shrooms out here. Alright, just make sure we have some places shroomed up where we're going to run to escape. to be very careful because he could nom me. Yeah, I'm kind of in nom range. Okay, he's dead. Chill out. Damn, I couldn't save that tower. I think what I should have done was throw a shroom on the back line of the minions and then it'll explode onto Cho'Gath. I think that was the way to go. Uh, that was pretty unfortunate that we lost that tower there. 
and get this next objective. I don't know why they're trying to surrender. Okay, just drop a bunch more shrooms. Probably drop it around Baron as well. That's going to be really helpful. Okay, now that we go back. And this time work towards our Void Staff. Apparently that's really strong as well. Wow, we just demolished that Yi's health. So this is a free kill for Singed. Hmm. I think what I want to do is shroom up the top half. And after that I want to look for a team fight. Because I know that Teemo is really strong in team fights. Especially if you just throw a shroom into the middle of the team fight, it explodes. It just chunks everyone. At least to half. Oh wow, we're demolishing that. That guy's health as well. Oh yeah, we can also one-shot the back line. Like, one auto for each. Each minion at the back is enough. I think the one thing I like about Teemo is you get so much vision. You get your wards and also all these shrooms everywhere. It's so nice. I can potentially see why people can get Challenger with Teemo. Especially with this build. It's so obnoxious. Like, look at that. He always has to go back home. Oh my god. Have to be careful here. Okay, there's his rupture. Man, some lifesteal would be nice. I think I might get a gunblade. Just so I can sustain up. So after void stuff, I heard from that challenger guys, you can just buy whatever you like. Might just push in one more wave. Okay. Oh yeah, by the way, if you hear any weird sounds, because my dog is behind me, he's either snoring or <laughs> making some sounds, so don't worry about that. Okay, unfortunately we lost a Cloud Drake there. That's my bad. I should have been pinging it and being more attentive to it. But what I want to do is get Baron soon. Okay, so ye splitting bot. I definitely need some shrooms behind me in case they start chasing me. And also need Zonias for ye actually. I think I have to get that next. Okay. Uh oh. I did not question mark ping that. Oh my god, we're destroying her health. She's already less than half. I just need them to walk into that room. Oh my god, we're destroying them. Holy crap, that was so much damage there. Oh, my shrimp's still alive, never mind. Okay. Oh, oh, get him, get him. Huh. I wonder why he didn't turn around and aim me. I think he could have killed me instead. But I aimed the tank. Let's see, Rakan's alive. Lol, <laughs> he's telling me where to put the shrooms. Okay, I can respect that. So, let's work towards our Zonias, because if Yi was to reset on me, then that would be very bad. I'd rather if I if he goes on me, that I hopefully react fast enough. I'm going to get this first, because I feel like stopwatch is something that I'm so not used to using, I'll probably forget. But once I get Zonias, should be fine. Whoa, okay, he's just eating up all the shrooms. Redonkulous. Crazy guy. Wish I had one more shroom over there. Okay. Scary. I have to run away from this. Oh, oh, get him! Wait, damn! I thought Ari was on my team. I'm dead. I got two people. Oh my god! I might have gotten more actually if I dropped that shrimp before I died that's insane actually crazy 
Teemo is really good. <laughs> Actually, really, really insanely good. AP Teemo, by the way, guys. All you need is these three core items, which is Void Staff, the Andres, and Nashes. Sork Shoes is just being greedy, but you can go for whatever shoes. Anything that's defensive. Merktrez is probably better in this case, because they have so much crowd control. Especially from Rakan, like that one is just like flash W with ult. And after you just get knocked up from Cho'Gath and Ari as well. But yeah, we have Zonyas now, so this is going to be really nice. Gonna start shrooming up this Baron Pit, because this is where we do massive damage. And also we're taking objectives on the side while we're winning team fights, and they're just eating up so many shrooms that they get low, and then we can fight again. Yeah, he's eating up. Ari's eating up shrooms as well. Oh, oh my god, they went so deep. Luckily, I softened them. I softened them up. Okay, very nice. Did we get someone? No. Oh, damage. <laughs> Did I want to step on that one as well? I have to stay back, I have to be careful, because my team's not here. I'll wait until my team comes and distracts them, and then I can start fighting. Okay, throw a shroom on the minions. This will guarantee to explode on everyone. Okay, massive damage. I just hit whoever I can reach. Chill out. Okay, nice, got him. Oh, come on. Oh. I think we can end up the game like this. We do too much damage. Ah, whatever. Alright, we'll just get this inhib and then maybe get the other one as well. Let's see, where would Ari stand? Probably over here. Hmm, scary. Oh, she's dead. She's done so. Crush your enemy. Oh, get him. Damn, I almost got him. If you do not listen. That was close. That was close. I think that's the best I could have done. Now we can go for Gunblade. I want some life steal. It's just my personal preference. I really like it. You should get Baron. I'm gonna TP top, push this in, and then we'll do Baron. I think that sounds good. Oh, actually, they're just gonna straight up start it. Actually, I can TP to my shroom. I don't need their ward. Not necessarily. I'm coming over. Wow, we just shred through Baron with Jinx. Now we can... Let's go for the last objective here. Okay. Oh my god. Help. I thought I had a buddy with me. To be or not to be. Wow, well, actually I'm Damn, I just inted. Alright, I'm so confused though. Once we got Baron, how come our team just split off to bot? That's that's actually my fault for not paying attention. I would have thought that everyone would want to go for this last objective, which is what would naturally happen. So I was so not used to that. But yeah, I have to watch out for my team this time. Uh, make sure they don't do that to me again. Mm, they're just all over the place. Okay. I think we can just end through mid and just take that bot in hip as a consolation prize. To be honest, this game's pretty over. Do they have you? Oh, not quite. Oh, 
Oh, this choke ass is gonna take some massive damage. I'm also shredding the Ari from behind. Okay, so we have the split push jinx. That should be the death of Ari. Should be. Oh my god. I wasn't meant to Zonya there. My bad. My team's like splitting off a lot, so it's really hard to fight. Unless like we all group up as a team, and then I'll have like a meat shield or a distraction. Yeah, that was real. But yeah, this game's dragging on so much because I don't know what they're doing. It's really painful. Okay, hopefully this time we're just all together, just group as five and just win. I think that's just the way to go. Because right now, every time we fight, um, my team seems to be really split off and they don't even do anything. They don't even take any objectives, so if they're split pushing, that's fine. But they, if they don't take anything, then that's a problem. Okay, they're already all out fighting, so... Oh, Shroom Field. Chill out. I already got one. That's for Cogmo. Okay, Cogmo should be dead here. Very nice. Finally, we finally get a team fight where our whole team's there. Okay, yeah, we can get both in hips. Because only Rakan's alive. I think I have him. Very nice. Okay, motherfucker. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is my very own tactic where I just go top and take objectives myself. Regardless of what my team does. Okay, drop a bunch of shrooms on the way. I think this one's an exception. I have to shroom this one. There's just too many. Oh my god, oh my god. Oh, whatever. Man, I hate Master Yi so much. Actually can't do anything against that. He had a Banshee, so I couldn't even blind him. But yeah, I think I'm playing too far forward. I'm just going to do the smart thing and buy a Death Cap. I think that will be the strongest build that I can possibly muster. Wow, everyone's all over the place. Oh my god, they just died. Why though? I'm like Yi is actually at bot lane and we lost. Okay, well these shrooms are just absolutely destroying them. I'm gonna step on another one. Okay, I'll take it. Hmm. Damn, I need my team. Say no to the surrender vote. But yeah, whenever we need the jungler, he's always dead. Oh my god, this Nocturne's not paying attention. Oh my days. Oh, this game's a lot harder than it should be. I have to say that's for sure. 
Five top, get the last inhibit and just end the game. That's all there is to it. I don't know why it's taking so long to do that. And it's really hard to get them to do anything. Okay. Just stream up these choke points and we should be able to win. Yikes, I think we lost. It just takes way too long to do anything with this team. Unfortunately, Teemo is more dependent on the team to be frontlining for him. And yeah, late game Cogmore is just insane. Mm. I feel like I have so little carry potential if my team's not like with me on a lot of these things. Oh well. Not much I can do there, I don't think, but I'll review the footage and see what I could have done better. So I'll have annotations on the video um, throughout so that you guys can see what I could have done better for sure. But yeah, that was a very unfortunate game. I really wanted to play him in the top lane, which I feel like I would have done way better there. And then I would have been able to do, you know, top lane things. But the thing is with mid lane, I felt like I was just like kind of stuck there. So I felt like I didn't impact the map enough and that's probably where I went wrong. But in terms of macro play, my team didn't want to do any of that. So, so I tried to get objectives in the side and I just couldn't because I have a Master E that just runs me down. So not much I could do there. For those who are curious about damage done, this is the damage done. I literally doubled the second highest damage in the game by a landslide. So for the record, it's 82,000 damage done by me. I definitely would have carried this. I felt like I just needed someone to frontline or if they weren't split off so much then they will be able to frontline for me and distract the enemy team I'll be able to do an insane amount of damage and just wipe them all out so we weren't able to do that and they were just half split pushing they weren't actually getting any objectives while split pushing so they kind of just pushed the wave and then recalled while we were all fighting so that's just like borderline trolling but yeah this game was definitely winnable in some way I just needed to fine tune my mid lane macro that's for sure anyways be sure to comment down below which champion you want to see next and if you already see it just upvote it I'll see you all in the next episode. Cheers.